We are here today with Tristan Urbina from uh, Tristan's Cookies and Cream, and they are located at 353 East 10th Street in Unit L. Tristan, thanks for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Well, thanks for having me here. I'm super excited. Thanks for having me you on the show. Good, good. Glad you could make it. Hey, before we get started, Tristan, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, obviously, my name is Tristan Urbina. Um, I'm the owner here for Tristan's Cookies and Cream. Uh, I guess, what's there to know about me? I love to bake, and cookies are one of the things that I totally enjoy. Um, I have about 50, 60 different kinds of cookies that I've baked in the last 20 years, so... Um, I do have a culinary background, so I did go to culinary school, but I am a culinary school dropout, so I didn't complete it, but needless to say, I did um, gain the skills and learn the basics to be where I'm at today, so uh, baking is definitely a passion, something about me, aside from fitness, baking, so a little about me and baking there. I, I'm from Salinas, uh, born and raised in Salinas, uh, have had a business out there for about 10 years prior to opening here, so uh, business isn't new for me. Uh, I do plan to move out to Gilroy one day. I totally love this city, so yeah. And we appreciate you being in Gilroy, and uh, you recently participated in our great cookie debate. Uh, right, and We must right. say publicly congratulations to you because Tristan's Cookies won that cookie debate. It was with our city council candidates who were the judges, and, uh, and your cookies were selected as number one. So congratulations to you. Thank you. We were all really excited. The staff, everybody here was super excited when we found out that we won that debate. So thank you. It was a lot the of fun. The opportunity was awesome. We had fun. And the cookie cake was kind of a last minute deal. We didn't know like, okay, cookies, we need to do something else. And we're like, cookie cake as well. So it's a good opportunity at that time to introduce our cookie cake. So it's a good thing. Well, we appreciate your involvement with that. Hey, Tristan, uh, as we get rolling now, can you tell us why Gilroy? Why did you choose to invest in Gilroy? So because it was a $200,000 investment, I was really picky about where I was going to put those $200,000. Um, coming and being born and raised in Salinas, Monterey County, was an opportunity, but I conducted business there for 10 years, and I thought, okay, $200,000, where am I going to put that money? Um, I know I wanted to open my cookie shop, and I knew that that was going to be it. Cookies, ice cream, and other treats. I didn't want to just open myself up to a full bakery. Um, but where was this going to be? Because Selena's had something years ago that inspired me, Grandma Buffalo Chips. They were all homemade recipes in the Northridge Mall Shopping Center. Uh, Miss Jo sold that business about 15 years ago, and since then, I personally have not been able to find a good cookie. So... From 15 years ago to now, there was that inspiration of where am I going to open my bakery? Where am I going to open it? Um, through the years, I spent a lot of time doing business in San Jose, um, some Morgan Hill, Gilroy. But in those years, I always thought, okay, small business, where am I going to open up? Where is there a demand? Because safety, that was a big issue. Coming from Salinas, safety is just one of those things that I take serious. And having had a business and having experienced the pros and cons of where I opened my business and safety being a big concern, I thought, okay, again, a big investment. Where am I going to go? Gilroy. Why Gilroy? It was the halfway point between where I lived and where I'm familiar from and where are the big opportunities between the city. So I decided if I want to get into this business and not franchise, but corporize and open a few locations, where am I going to do it? Because I'm close to home. I understand, but there's also income. There's also safety. Gilroy. Gilroy had so many small businesses and it's just so this small business oriented, Frank. I mean, it was just perfect. It was either Gilroy or Morgan Hill, one of those two. And I knew I had to start somewhere small um, because this is a different entity and it's not Tanny. I wanted to be somewhere where A, there was the revenue, B, safety, and See, it was small where if I made mistakes, it wouldn't be too obvious and I could learn from it. And again, I'm not in a big environment like San Jose where if I opened up and cookies, as we know, my cookies are amazing, bam, I would be slammed with a line out the door, running around like a headless turkey. So I had to really think this one out because this is my life now. This was a large investment. This is, where am I going to go? Where am I going to start this up? I wanted to be somewhere where it was safe, where I knew the median income was in a good range. And I knew that Anywhere I went there was going to not be such a big problem. And Gilroy just, it fit it. It fit it. Gilroy Morgan Hill. If I knew anywhere into the city, not so much of a problem, but where am I going to go? Rent's expensive. I'm just starting. So this was the perfect place. Well, we appreciate that. And uh, I know that you have a huge following and uh, people love your cookies and uh, you're Thank doing you. a great job. So we appreciate that. Now, you mentioned the, the, the tanning salon. You, you own, you're the owner and operator of 
glamour glow tanning as well. Is that correct? Still, I, I am still involved in that. I'm not involved in day-to-day -day operations. Now I have a business partner, uh, best friend of mine, Mandy, that I've been in business with for about 10 years, a friend of mine for close to 23 years. Um, her and I, when we got into business again, opening the tanning salon, again, people asked, tanning, tanning, why tanning? Because it's, you know, let's be realistic. It's a cancer-causing product. Well, true, but there are benefits to it. And in those 10 years, I was able to learn a lot about the business and a lot downside, good side. And I use that definitely as something easy because I spent so many years in retail, part of it being in the beauty industry. And I figured, hey, something I'm familiar with. But again, you have to start somewhere. And everything that I've learned, everything that's got me to where I'm at today started with the tanning salon. And if we want to get more into detail, 20 years of retail management and accounting experience definitely has been a big help into the success where I've been today. I've worked with awesome district managers. I have, I had a mentor for five years when I worked for um, Albertsons, my store manager who got down with me about everything, labor presentation. So I look at my history and I look at where I'm at today and I look at the tanning salon 10 years ago as a starting point for business that was actually successful. I was able to grow it from one to three locations, not just in one city, but in a different city, adding different services. Um, of course, it came to a point where it was becoming too much and my heart wasn't there. So I had to draw back, close one. We had an incident with another, didn't, that point I took as a sign where, do I want to follow my passion or do I want to continue tanning? So this is where it led me to be where I'm at today with the bakery with Tristan's Cookies and Cream. And I look back as that was the best, best 10 years, the tanning, and I'm still involved, but more on the back end of like finance and signatures and, but everything else that's still running on its own. It's still a five-star business in Salinas. I'm still doing well. And I'm super proud of that. And I look at where we're going now with Tristan's Cookies and Cream. And I look at that and I think tanning did so well and it's been 10 years and it's even during COVID, it's still a flow. I'm confident here where I'm at Gilroy was perfect and where I want to go next, open up a second location in Morgan Hill is going to be perfect. And it's been easy because of those 10 years in the tanning industry that I learned. So, yeah. Well, Tristan, as you, you had mentioned uh, the COVID-19 situation and over the last five or six months, of course, businesses have had to sort of reevaluate how they do business. And so how, what have you, what challenges have you faced and what changes have you made in order to, to meet those challenges and work within this new environment? Well, we're still experiencing challenges, as you know. Um, it, it, it still hasn't been an easy process, even for employees back here for us. I mean, we have to wear these masks all the time. And I will be first to say that I think I'm guilty at times for taking it off to breathe. But customers have been very understanding. Um, most people know the drill. It's hard when the county has made it tough to where you can only have two people in the building. And again, we're a business that's built off of families who, especially during COVID, you know, right now they're clustered at home. They want to get out, come to our shop. We don't have outdoor seating, um, but we're open. However, when you have a family of like four or five or six, it's not easy for them to understand, especially during this hot weather that we're open for business to serve you, but we can't have you in the shop. So that's been the, the hardest challenge. And when we started and we opened, again, we opened our business in January and it took off and we're very customer service oriented. So again, the big challenge with COVID and trying to still meet that customer service experience has been a tough one. Sanitation, <laughs> I can sit here and BS everybody. Everybody should be on sanitation. There, there's nothing should have ever changed. It should have always been like super clean. So that's been an easy, easy thing for us. And you guys are also, you're, you're, you're doing deliveries and, and. Yep. So with the changes that, that happened now with COVID, having to keep people out, we've added delivery service. It's also uh, pushed us to focus on a online ordering system. So we're in the midst of doing that right now. Uh, we're building our online so that you can go in, submit your order and select to have it delivered or pick up. We're building a pickup station here. So a lot of the things that we're doing, all the changes that we've had to make, we're doing, it's, it's, it's a good thing. And there were plans that were already gonna happen, but with COVID, it just made it happen faster. We deliver, we've 
extended our deliveries outside of Gilroy to Morgan Hill, to Hollister, to Salinas, Prunedale, um, San Martin, even South San Jose. And it's interesting, we have people calling, do you get delivered to Cupertino? Do you deliver to Saratoga? No, but we're building that base. And again, that should tell you that business is taking off now. Do we have a lot of people coming and visiting us? Not a lot right now with COVID, and I don't blame them. We have a clean atmosphere. Everyone's wearing their mask. We have a procedure down. Um, most people follow it. And it's a procedure not only built by us, but by the county. So people do respect that. Um, we haven't lost our sight with service and people really appreciate that. Still keeping a smile on our face, although we have these masks, you can't really see them, but we're still in line. Um, we've just offered you know, delivery service and we're working on an online service. Um, I don't know if it's going to get better during the winter, so we're really shooting to have our online service done by the end of mid to end of October completed and running because we don't know what to predict for winter with COVID. I mean, well, then in the uh, Tristan, in the meantime, if somebody would want to contact you, for instance, the chamber, we are doing our chamber breakfast next Wednesday. We're going to be ordering four dozen chocolate chip cookies from you because we're going to <laughs> deliver. Uh, a cookie to every one of our uh, uh, attendees who sign up ahead of time. Okay. So, that. Now the secret's out. They're going to get a special treat. They're going to get a cookie <laughs> delivered to their door by uh, our chamber ambassadors. Uh, so it's kind of a fun thing to do. And so we're going to be, we'll be following up with you afterwards. But let's say somebody in the community wanted to order a dozen, two dozen, four dozen cookies for some event. What's the best way for them, for them to contact? Bill, best way to contact us is give us a call, social media, Facebook, Instagram, we're really good about answering messages within a good 15 to 20 minutes. Um, people ask- what's your, uh, what's your phone number? What's the best way? Oh, phone, phone number here to contact us is 408-337-5700. Uh, That's the shop number. You can find us on Facebook, Tristan's Cookies and Cream, or on Instagram, follow us on Instagram, Tristan's Cookies and Cream. We have all of our pictures. We have all the cookies that we make uh, online, uh, on, our, uh, webs on our website, on our uh, social media. Uh, we post stuff daily. Again, you can give us a call at the shop. We're really good about picking the phone phones up here. Um, custom cookies, people are also looking for sugar cookies. We customize just about any kind of sugar cookie for any event, even the adult fun. Bridal showers, we do them all. So um, give us a call with the sugar cookies as well. That's something that we've been really uh, taking off with as well. Uh, we are looking in the near future to offer outside kind of with third party our individual cookies. So that's something to be looking forward to also outside of Morgan Hill. Small businesses that are interested in carrying our product, we're definitely looking into doing that as well. So. No, very good. Okay, well, if you need to, again, Chamber can help make some of those connections for you. So. Tristan, thank you for being with us this morning. Thank We're you. Excited. Thank you for having me today. Channel. Thank you. Uh, that's it for our Why Gilroy segment. I'm Mark Turner with the Gilroy Chamber of Commerce.